Hi, Mick Cullen, Spirits and Stones. Uh, I came to Avery Stone Circle today with the intention of um, of doing the fourth episode in uh, the Stone Circles of Avery, but the uh, the weather's been against me. There's so much wind, you got a job to hear the uh, audio. So um, I've had to abandon that idea. But uh, this is the uh, feminine stone of the cove. And uh, I'm sat in my car in the uh, pub car park <laughs> warehouse. And can you see that face on the stone? Uh, it's the first time I've noticed noticed that. Um, it's always been a, uh, a particular interest to me, this, this stone, because of the symbolism. Particularly at night time, if you shine a torch on it, um, there's a horse, so all sorts of... Uh, animal symbolism within that stone um, but you but you need to see that at night time really but I, I pulled in here and parked up today and uh, that image of the face is so vi vivid that I just let out uh, uh, an out loud hello <laughs> strange as that <laughs> but uh, th this site Avery is, is like that they can throw things at you that you haven't noticed before despite many visits and uh, it can, it's like it's reaching out it was like it was reaching out to me trying to grab my attention and um, I just had to respond absolutely wonderful I remember the first time I came to Avery some years ago now and um, I came with the family and we we had a brief walk through the site and uh, was amazed at the uh, the sheer size of the site and um, found it all very mysterious. Well, I would because I knew nothing about um, the Neolithic or the early Bronze Age or sites like this in general. Uh, we went into the pub, we had a meal and of course we talked and uh, got very excited about the... Um, the stories of the various hauntings of the pub and uh, went home having felt I had a good day out but it was some time after that I became interested in uh, this era and when I started coming back to the site with a different different outlook in a different frame of mind and um, started to research and uh, learn a little bit about it I, uh, oh, there's a tractor. Food for the cattle. <laughs> and, um, of course, I started to open up to the site and uh, invite the site in. And as the great Hamish Miller said, um, you need to open up. If you can go to a site like this with an open mind and open up to the site, the site will respond and open up to you. And that is so true. Uh, I feel I started off by looking for symbolism in the stones. And um, the amount of symbolism I found grew in time. And sometimes now, as, as, uh, as in this instance, I come here and it's like, it actually shouts at me, Oi, I'm over here. And I look up, and there's something looking straight back at me. That's the marvellous thing about um, sites like this. It, the more you come, the more you see. So I'm going to have to try another time to um, do a video, um, the uh, episode four of this series. Um, hopefully, uh, I think in a few days time we've got a day coming up where the wind is very low. I just hope that I'm able to, to come here that day and uh, do another video, but it will be done. But until then, blessings to you all. And I'm looking forward to, I will be coming here, or I'm planning on coming to Avebury uh, for the winter solstice. Uh, maybe uh, weather will permit then. 
we'll see. Love to you all. Blessings. Take care now.